Okay, so in this task, we need to calculate the k-value of this species in the given mixture. So, in theory, we don't know what we're talking about. So, first things first, we need to read this diagram. So, in this x-axis, we have the molar composition of methanol. We need to assume that this is in the liquid phase. And in the y-axis, we have the molar composition of methanol in the mixture. So even though we don't know if this is, well, actually we have it here, it's methanol and benzene, but maybe we'll, we could have a title that says methanol in the mixture or methanol in a ternary uh, mixture and so on. The idea is that for K values, we only need the compositions of both the liquid phase and the vapor phase, which we can obtain here. So for a a 10% of methanol in the mixture, we will require a value about of uh, 44%. And we need to calculate the K values for all these values. Remember that K value will depend on the composition per se. So what we need to do is obtain the uh, vapor composition for the given liquid compositions. So we got 10%, 30%, 55%, 45%, 95% and 99%, which will be essentially this part right here, this part right here, this part right here, 70% is here, and 95% is about here and here, which are here 0%, of course, 41%, which is here, uh, 55 something around here, 61 here, and so on. Now we have now the compositions. What we need to obtain is now the k-value. K-value is nothing more than the molar composition divided by the, uh, sorry, the molar composition in the vapor phase divided by the molar composition in the liquid phase. So the first one makes no sense. Remember that we cannot divide by zero. But before we continue, I want you to try to imagine why there is no k-value given this value. Okay, so try to be more philosophical why zero divided by zero in this context will make no sense and on the other hand why uh, one divided by one or let it be yeah let's say x equal one then you will have y equal one why would, would you get one remember that depending on the limit you will be having several changes probably you were wondering that uh, we start with a four value, you will get three, two, one, and you will never go below uh, this one. But actually we do try to guess why do we have a value lower than one. And actually the solution is because there is a isotrope. So this is not a ideal solution. If you were to obtain something similar to this, most likely you will not get this, but because we have the cross right here, you will have a value lower than one. Anyways, guys, what I did here was to perform the calculations. And as you can see, the K value for methanol is much larger at lower values rather than those at higher values because of this crossing of the line. So technically, if you wanted to get some K values near to one will be here and here. So those are the calculations of to get K value. But what I want you to understand is why k-value is helpful here. And later on, in further exercises, especially in the multi-component uh, exercises, we're going to understand why k-values are very helpful.